I am watching uh, ABC World News tonight. Now, they have on a piece of journalism that says in Ohio that they voted today for midterm elections. And I'm like, there's voting for midterms? Like, what is a midterm? I've never heard of this phrase before. Then I'm thinking, I'm scaling that back in the in how pathetic I feel. And I'm like, who's responsible for teaching the residents about elections, about how elections work in the sense of when do they occur? It doesn't come on the normal holiday schedule of national holidays like the one that has Christmas and Thanksgiving and Halloween. There's like no mention of it. And then if the nightly news is on as public service announcement, sometimes they'll mention it, but not they'll mention when it's a big presidential whatever year. But then it like radio static silence for the four years in between. So now my question is, who's responsible for making sure no child gets left behind? That's one campaign I've heard of. Who's responsible and whose job has it been to coach my generation in making sure that we were actively participating or even knew what was on the ticket or the line. I mean, like, at this point, from my perspective, this is what it looks like. It looks like, by magic, in some outer-of-reach place, someone decides that there's somebody standing in front of the elephant, somebody standing in front of a donkey. One gets assigned red, one gets assigned blue. And it's just two names, and you, have, you get a face and a name, and you have no idea anything about them. And they're like, go. This concept of midterm election, I'm like, now what is that? So I looked on my maxi pad internet, and it says some interesting words, but again, they're just words. How they work in action or in concert, I have no idea. Who's orchestrating this? I have no idea. There's been no outreach. There's been no effort in order to include the children. I mean, you hold a child captive from kindergarten to 12th grade and there's no lessons you just give them a voter registration card so like you check the box on great they know that once every four years when they hear it on the news maybe they'll show up and like hope they show up i mean this makes no sense for I mean, I thought that the adult, I mean, like, if I think of Jesus and I think of, or whatever the good Lord's name is, in this area, they call him Jesus at the moment. I don't, I saw there was a book on something called a Caesar. I don't want to get in a fight, but here we are. So, um, George, I'll stay with George Washington on that since he seems to be the one on the legal tender and seems to be the acceptable first president in this reality that everybody runs the rest of the circus off of. Um, so I'm thinking of this and I'm like, there has to be, like, if there's this good Lord system, I mean, like, who's responsible for the patrons and the patriots? Who's responsible for teaching them? How do you have children sitting in a room not even really able to move out of the desk except when they file into the hallway and move 
for some reason and however it works how could that be the system and nobody's teaching the children how to participate how is the state sponsored school getting away with it how is the church sponsored school and parochial system getting away with that like where is the future i mean theoretically if i think like god country and family as a mother of my children and i think goal here is to leave the world a better place than when you arrived. I am looking around and in judgment of my parents' age bracket, I don't think New York's in a better place. And then looking at my age bracket, I don't think it's in a better place. And it's very early stages in my children's, but in their life frame, there's a portion of it where I say they don't know any better because they've never seen it any worse than it already is. But I'm looking at it through a very different lens. Um, and I'm thinking to myself, what happened? And then I'm watching this piece of journalism. And then I find out midterm elections in New York happen in November. I had no month on it till the maxi pad internet mention of it. And again, I have no way of confirming if that's how the rest of the system works. It seems to have been such a broken communication schematic with the people my age, with inclusivity and with induction and running things. I mean, like, and then I'm thinking to myself, the US system, they function at home and abroad I've heard and then it looks like they pump up numbers and I don't know how that residency like Jerry Rig goes and I'm like that seems and again at like a high five level and I've only been stationed live for this purpose in New York I'm like there's a lot of foreign, or there's a lot of five in our hive. How does one keep the hive safe and the children in some good standing when a lot of the five seems to want to break the hive at this juncture based on past performance leading into this 44th year that I've spent here and have never even heard of a midterm election? Um... So I'm like, where is the responsibility on making sure that the demographics are being reached appropriately? Um, not only college graduates, not only working professionals, but the rest of us that have already been hurt by whatever the landslide has been. Um, I mean, is where does that responsibility of shelter rest upon? So I'm watching this, and on there, there's a woman from Ohio who's speaking of her concerns of the country in Ohio for her state in this United States is no longer functioning. The country she remembered is no longer functioning indicative of which is what i've been saying from a new york perspective she's saying the exact same thing in agreement from an ohio perspective so i know it's not just a new york state of mind new york i have my own set of circumstances but territorially like my local i feel that way now there's somebody from a regional that's expressing or territorial that's expressing the same concern and like I don't know if this is systemic and I mean it has to be systemic and involved logically with a global operation of I don't know what I don't have a name for the so um, so 
so this is what I was thinking about in my quiet set of rooms with my son that I'm looking at and going, how am I supposed to teach him when I don't even know what a midterm is? And I can read it and theoretically I get it of what the definition is, but it has no construct, it has no place value, there's no integration of services. Is Does this rest on the army? Like, is that their civic responsibility or is it our National Guard? Is that their audience participation? Like, they should be present, I would think, like informing the public as public servants at a different level than emergency service and the organized criminal units. I mean, it just, there's so much of this world that just doesn't make sense. It feels so disheveled. I mean, there's a lot of debauchery, but that's in the corporate world. But disheveled is the word for public service that I have because I don't want to, I don't want to put myself in harm's way at the lack of integration into being able to even find them. I don't know who they are. I don't know what they look like. I don't know what their level of service is. Like again, it's not even taught in the public schools. They're like, how do you raise countrymen if they don't even know how country works or what level to even strive for? It's so frustrating. Being this marginalized and feeling like the circus just doesn't care. It's just how it feels. And I'm sure at some level, they maybe one person does. Maybe one person can start something and get others involved. But I just don't understand that for so many years. I mean, 44 years. How many years wasted between public and private school? And neither one of them did better than the other with keeping my generation or my person and the set of classes that I was in on some understanding of how to participate throughout my life. It really makes one feel like they didn't want my help, they didn't want my participation, and I don't even know where that train of logic, what track of training that goes off on. But this is what it looks like. Turn out tonight for the crucial midterm elections, your voice, your vote. 27 days left to go, and as we've been reporting here, just a handful of key Senate races will determine who wins control of the Senate. Last night here, we reported on Georgia. Tonight, our team in Ohio, where the Republican J.D. Vance is trying to tie the Democrat to President Biden, and where the Democrat Tim Ryan is trying to tie the Republican to Donald Trump. And there were fireworks over this. Tonight, early voting now underway there in Rachel Scott from Ohio. Today in Columbus, Ohioans lining up to cast their ballots before the doors even opened. We're open, come on in. Now, I'm confused. It says Ohio Critical Battleground. Those are the labels. It says in upcoming contests. I don't know what a contest is. It says midterm election showdown. I'm watching this. In my state, it says that this apparently happens in November. I'm going to have to watch the news a little more carefully now because I don't remember ever hearing about midterms. And I there's no information, like there's no infomercial. There's no what's on the ticket, who's upcoming, who's running. There's no campaign ads. Like there's something about a Lee Zeldin, but I don't know what that's about. I don't know what he's running on. It's just, I guess, to get his name out there as like a household name. It's it's not like it means anything or has anything attached to it. Early voting now officially underway. 
For voters like Christine Ivory, a mother of two, there's only one issue that matters. The economy, yes, I would say the economy, because um, it's very expensive. In the razor tight Senate race, the economy taking center stage. Republican candidate venture capitalist J.D. Vance trying to tie his opponent, Congressman Tim Ryan, to President Biden. People deserve to go to the grocery store without it completely breaking the bank. Tim Ryan has voted with these policies 100% of the time. Every single time he gets an opportunity to stand up for Ohioans, he chooses to bend the knee to his own party. But in that first Senate debate, Ryan distanced himself from a president who is not popular here. Do you want President Biden to run again in 2024? No, I've been very clear. I'd like to see a generational change. Mitch McConnell, Donald Trump, the president, everybody. As Vance tries to tie Ryan to Biden, Ryan is tying Vance to Donald Trump, whose endorsement helped Vance win the Republican nomination. J.D. is kissing my ass. He wants my support. So Ryan seizing on that moment. I don't kiss anyone's ass like him. Ohio needs an ass kicker, not an ass kisser. For voters like Barb Sanders, a nurse, Vance's association with Trump is a deal breaker. We asked her which issue she cares about most. Saving democracy. Do you think that J.D. Vance would be a threat to democracy? Yes. He is under the thumb of um, Republican power. But Michelle Upton, a financial advisor, says she's voting for Vance, quote, to get the nation back on track. This is not the country. Now, this is the woman who says it's not the country that she grew up in. This is some uh, an opinion I share. Again, I've been in sections of rooms and hunted and harmed in on these lands. So my story is just slightly different. But there are some threads of reality that I share with some of the people that they interview on the television. Rachel Scott live in Columbus. She's there with our incredible team of political embeds out. I mean, on the one hand, thoroughly afraid of man's world and the men's department and not wanting to start trouble. I have a healthy fear of that. However, there being some real observations, real field observations that are of some real concern. And it feels like getting out of hand. And I don't know what hands safe to hold, where to pursue the correct education. I don't know who the authoritative educator is I don't I again like I said the other day I'm looking of signs of which God system is the good Lord accepting applicants in which country I was given one country at Hive it was this one it was called United States of America so that's the one I'm stuck with. And then they give you family. I have a Linda and a Lou, and they're at, almost at the end of their life, which is even more frightening because th I don't have brothers or sisters. I have a star brother somewhere, but that is not somebody that I readily have like access to. So... Just a mother, a father, no brothers and sisters. That leaves me in a really vulnerable category, which is even more frightening for where do you get real answers from to participate in the way that is needed? And why does it feel like the hand of the Lord, the hand of God, the hand of country, and the hand of family has just turned away? How does one leave this world better than when they found it? It's star one nine seven eight, star eight three seven eight, Nicole Ketter is its Earth, Solar System, Milky Way, Universe, Galaxy is broken, and it's Bayside Station, Bayside, New York, one one three six one.